Did you know that you can do simple animations for your t-shirt designs on Canva? These animations help you get more views and followers on social media, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. everyone it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video I'm going to show you how to do simple animations in Canva for your t-shirt design. So if you're building your t-shirt designs in Canva you can animate the text, you can animate the graphics and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. There's so many options. So if you're like me and you're on social media and you're on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or even Twitter or X as they call it now um, you can use these animations to post on your social media sites, which makes it a lot more interesting to look at than just some flat pictures on, on there that you post. So I'm gonna show you how much of a difference it makes. I'm gonna go into my Instagram account and my Twitter account so you can see how many views I'm getting there when I make this change compared to what I have the, uh, the other ones, the other posts that aren't animated. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in Canva, how easy it is. So let's get into my social media accounts first and then we'll go into Canva. All right, so here we are on my Instagram account. I posted this, um, made this post a while ago. Here it is and you can see, I'm gonna show you it's animated, right? It's like a reels, right? So it's animated. I did all of this in Canva. I'm gonna show you how to do this one exactly but uh, let's go back and see like the difference so you can see it got 218 likes when opposed to like some of these other ones around the same time it had way more than these other ones right so engagement or likes are higher because it's moving it's a animated thing if we go to my in um this is my twitter account or x account now and you can see i posted this and you look, look at the engagement here 677 as opposed to some of these other ones where I posted about the same time 400 291 388 you can see oh, more than twice as much as most of the other posts because uh, not only does it look good but it's active interact not interactive but it's moving right so I think people stay on it longer um, and just look because they want to see what happens what does it spell out right and so that's how you can make your post interesting. The way I got this is I had this idea. Uh, I went to this guy's one and there's lots of people who do this, but I went on search here and I love the paper crane here. Let me show you his as well. So you can see some of his are animated. Uh, wait here, look at this. So if I click on this, this is way more advanced than what I just did, but you can see this is animated and it's super cool, right? And so if we look at his, like look at that, 504 as compared to 146, 98, 214, right? Because this one is animated, well this is animated too, but this is animated so it has way more than these other ones, right? It's also a very cool animation, so um, props on that, but um, usually animated ones do better than non-animated ones. You can see these are very similar, but this only got 98 likes, but this, because it's animated, right? Even this simple animation of switching between different ones, you could do that as well. And that's, that gives you more likes and more views. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Canva. And hopefully this can really help you get more views on your social media accounts, including Instagram. I showed uh, Twitter or X here. You can do this on TikTok and everything else too. So let's go to Canva right now and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are on Canva. This is my design. You can see I just made it. You can make any design that you want. So just make sure your design has text and graphics. So we're going to use, these are graphics. This is text, right? You can see it's text. You can see that I'm using a font right here. So you don't want text that aren't, isn't using a font. You want actual text with a font. And the way to do this is really simple. Canva has made it really easy. If you click on the object you want to animate, just look up here and it says animate. So just click on this animate and you can see so many different ways to do it. So I'm going to go through each one really slowly and you can see what it does here. So first one is this rise. See it? If I click on it, it kind of shows you what it does. It just does it really quickly. Boom. And you can adjust the speed on that too by when you click on it. Let me just do one. Click on it and you can adjust the speed here. You can make it super fast or you can make it super slow or you can make even come down or up, right? So there's some different things on here. Um, 
Let me switch to another one. You can turn that by clicking on it again or remove animation, sorry. By removing animation, you can get rid of it. All right, so let's look at this one. Pan, you can see it went across just like that. Fade, pop. That one's kind of cool. I like that one. Uh, let's do that again. Pop, wipe. That's the one I used. Um, it's just wiping the letters just pop in like that. Actually, I think I used, yeah, that's probably the one I use, wipe. Um, and then breathe, kind of does that thing. Um, baseline, that's kind of cool. Drift, let's see that again. Oh, that, that hardly did anything. Uh, this one, tectonic. Oh, that's kind of neat. Sometimes you just gotta hover over it. Okay, writing, typewriter, that's kind of cool. Might, that might have been the one I used actually. Typewriter, that's, I like that one. Ascend, that's kind of cool too. Just comes out. Uh, shift, ooh, nice one. Uh, merge, let's see what merge does. Oh, that's interesting. Let's do that again. Merge, okay. Block, oh, a big block comes out, boom. Burst. Oh, I like this one too. I think this is the one I did. They all kind of look similar. I think this is the one I did actually though. Burst. Boom, 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 boom. I like how it comes out and makes it bigger. Bounce. Boom. Roll. That's pretty cool. Skate. Very nice. Spread. Oh, that's neat. Uh, exaggerate. Let's try that again. Oh, it just comes in like that. Neon. Ooh. Kind of, that's kind of a ghost kind of feeling. Scrapbook, oh, interesting. Just drops in like that. Stamp, let's see, boom, comes in hard, okay. And motion, ooh, this kind of just tilts it. This flickers it. That's a pulse, and that's just a wiggle. So I'm gonna go, the one that I really liked, I think was burst, yeah, burst. So let's click on burst and I can make it faster or slower. You can see on enter, on exit, on or both. I just like on enter and I'm just gonna keep it medium. If I went really fast, you can see it's like too fast to read. So I'm gonna keep it right in the middle there. And we can do the same thing for this one. So because that one went that way, I'm gonna do burst here and you can see it goes and we can do that same. So there we go. This one has burst. And this one has verse. All right, so let's see what we can do with uh, the object. So I'm gonna click on this. And you can see there's animate two here and they're a little bit different. So this isn't uh, text, this is uh, animation for objects. So let's see what this does. Look at the ghost here in the middle. Rise, pan, fade, pop. Oh, that was kind of neat. Like that pop, wipe. Breathe, baseline, oh, that comes up. Drift kind of moves. That one's tectonic. Exaggerate, that's a way cool. Oh, neon, scrapbook comes down. Stamp, whoa, that's a big move. Rotate, that's kind of cool. Flicker, that's a cool ghost move there. Pulse, that's neat. And wiggle. So I'm just gonna pick wiggle. And I can do that on a bunch of other ones. So I don't have to just do that. I can do like this goes here, wiggle him, this goes, wiggle him. And if I wanna do other things, I can pick him and do, you know, maybe this guy rotates and this guy rotates and so on. And I can choose to do some or none or whatever, right? So there you go, it's just animated. Now um, it's just for five seconds, but it can do longer if you wanna do it. Maybe I wanna do it for 10 seconds or eight seconds, right? Now that because it's animated, the way to export it is I'll have to share and download, and you can see it exports as a uh, MP4 video, right? So I'm gonna download this, and it's gonna to go to my downloads folder, and I'll show you what it looks like, and so we can kind of preview it there too. That's gonna to take a little while. Now that's how easy it is. Now you can see the way I did this was my shirt size, but if you want to do it in a um, Facebook size or Instagram reel size or a 
uh, maybe a square. You can just copy all of this and post it on a different size. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to just select all and copy command C and I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to come in here, go to home, create a design. Let's say, oh, let's do uh, Instagram reel. Boom. Right. And they can just paste it. Boom. Um, I have to do the background black again, but it's there. Everything's there. The burst is still here. The position, like you can see the animation, there's burst, the animation's there. Oh, that one's not animated for some reason. Oh, there, it has the wiggle. Yeah, there it is. Everything's animated. So I can export it that way or I can make it uh, another size. Let's go out of here and come in here and just do custom size. Maybe I want it square 4,500 by 4,500. Instead, I can just paste it here, right? Change the background color again, and just make it a square size. Maybe we want the square size for Instagram. So I'm gonna download this one too, just so you can see what it's like in a square size, MP4 video and download. Now I'm not sure if it downloaded the first one, so I'm gonna make sure that this, I think I might have skipped over it because I, I switched pages. So let's make sure it downloads all the way to the end here and it goes to my download screen and we can s save it. All right, so it finally downloaded. It takes a long time to download these because they're animated and so they're basically like a movie, so it takes a long time, but we got it. Let me open it up for you here. So here's the MP4 file. I'm gonna play it for you here. It's only five seconds long. And you can see, just wanna have fun. And you can see the things move. Now we can we can make these ghosts do anything we want. Sometimes it doesn't make sense because I think I, I picked the ghost. You can see it's kind of, it's twisting around and the face didn't move. So you might wanna look out for that. Just watch your video and make sure that it, it actually works. Um, I might have to go in here, like the way I would fix it is I would go in here and I group these two things, group and then animate them. And so you can see now it wiggles by itself. So before it didn't, and I gotta fix this guy too, right? Command G, group it, and then you can animate uh, like that. What else, Did the other one? Yeah, this one. <laughs> This one didn't do it either. So Command G and maybe it's Pulse. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so that's how you do it. Very simple animations, depending on your design, you can animate it in a variety of ways. Just have fun with it, play around with it. It does a preview for you so you can try it out and then export it as either a square or the Instagram size. You can see it's just an MP4. Upload those to your social media account and watch your views go up or your or your engagement go up and you, you should have a little bit more than some of the other ones and you can do this over and over. And it's just a good way to um, get more people watching because they have to stay on here. If they wanna read it or wanna see what happens, they have to actually stay on here and watch it and it's, they're more likely to like it as well. So um, hopefully this was really helpful for you and hopefully you get a lot more views on your social media posts. So there you go. Hopefully that was really helpful for you to see how it's done on Canva. It's very simple. There's lots of other applications that you can animate your designs with, but I think this is one of the easiest ones. Um, you could do it in Procreate. You could do it in other things to animate, but uh, I think Canva does it like the super simple version. And as you can see, even that simple version got me a lot more views and a lot more uh, engagement than some of my other posts. So, so if you want to see more Canva tutorials, click on these right here. This is my Canva uh, tutorial playlist. Lots of ideas on how to do that, how to create designs in Canva and how to do some other uh, magic things that they do on there, uh, translations and just a whole bunch of things. Canva keeps getting better and better and adds more and more things. So hopefully this was really helpful for you. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.